All right, so my friends, welcome. Trying out stuff for the Pro Tour, and we're going to see. The question is, can Monterey compete in this format? This is the coolest I saw on Twitter. Uh, I don't recall whose deck it was. I apologize. I just saved a screenshot. Uh, they called it Imagine Dragons on Twitter. So again, not my deck. I stole the name. I stole the deck. I stole everything. Stole it. But this is a pretty cool looking mono red deck going a little bigger than most mono red decks do. Uh, playing some dragons here in Atsushi, the Blazing Sky, and Shiv and Devastator. And then playing Invasion of Tarkir. New battle. Our battle will be legendary. ETB deal X to anything, where X is 2 plus the number of dragons you reveal from your hand. And then if you attack the battle and kill it, you get a 4 4 flying trample. Whenever a dragon you troll attacks, deals the 2 damage to any target. And otherwise, a lot of mono red cards here. Playing four main, main deck Nahiri's Warcrafting in respect, out of respect for Shieldred. And then four Stormseeker also. So uh, a little bit bigger than most mono red decks you usually see. More lands, four foundries. I uh, got Koth on the board. Lithomatic Barrage is a big card on the board. It's funny because, like, this card's really good against Esper Legends. Because uh, it kills most of their cards for one mana, which is great. It kills our Fiend for one mana, even though the ward. Uh, but it can't kill Shieldred, which is super awkward. But four Warcrafting. We'll see if that's good enough. And um, that's the deck. This is Mono Red. This is Mono Red. Brought to you by Colas Apparel. Best magic shirts out there. Not even close. But highest quality, super comfortable, great designs. They got hoodies, stickers, shirts, playmats. My, my stuff's on there, um, which is obviously very, very important. People love my stuff, right? And uh, the Empty Jam shirts, love those. So check it out. This is my shirt. The new Pile Driver Ska shirt. It's freaking awesome. Check it out. And uh, check it out. ColasApparel.shop. Promo code Jim10 10 percent off your order, call us apparel.shop. They'll also be at all the command fests, which is great too. So check them out. Call us apparel. Chat coming out, mate. Book it. Book the win. Game. Oh no, never mind. Just kidding. They're back. They're here. They're here. Man, opponent ropes their, their start, and then we, we have the mulligan. That sucks. Alright. <laughs> really gonna be running uh, a little cold the last few uh, last few days. All right, no land, no land. All right, we did it. Here we go, bottom two mountains. Had some rough hands the last, I feel like the last week, you know? Yeah, they were they were too busy putting in their cheat codes. They were just like, all right, get those cheat codes in there, get that cheat codes. All right, hands not great. Any testing house streaming? No, 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 no. Once I leave from Minneapolis, I'll be in serious mode, not content mode. Mardu or Mardont? All right, Harvester. All right. Well, we are definitely not winning this game. Uh, on the mulligan to five, no one drop, no two drop, five lands already. Yeah. All right. Uh, take three. I'll play a fable here. I'll be very, very sad. All right. There's a harvester number two. All right, what 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 is going on? Like, we bottom two mountains also. Like, just heinous draws. All right, um, we're gonna attack. Yeah, we're gonna try and I'll try and do a little a little on the ground content. Obviously, I'm very very fortunate to be able to test with Team CFB. Testing with some of the best Magic players in the world is really, really cool, obviously. You know, we did a testing house for Pro Tour Philadelphia. And, you know, I just... Seven days in the house, playing Magic. Every every game Magic I play is against, like, Seth Manfield, Reed Duke, Gabriel Nassif. Just, like, the literal best players ever. We keep drawing lands! What is going on? Wow. And, uh, pretty fun experience, so... Alright, I mean, I guess we'll say, yeah, Mulligan to five, three lands in our hand. What do you think our odds of winning this game are, huh? Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! Does Testing House approach get refined each Pro Tour? I gotta say, big props to Jakob and Brent. Uh, they do a killer job. Oh, this Charge Raxa and Return Raxa? Alright, whatever, sure. So, just a disgusting game, obviously. Uh, just total, total non-game magic. Literally didn't do anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, Brent, Brent and, and Jakob, they just go nuts in the spreadsheets and the organizing and the stuff. They're, they're really, really good at that shit, which is awesome. So, um, all right, I'll get a sideboard here. Attracts is obviously a huge problem. Uh, pretty hard to actually beat that card against in play. I think I want these, uh, betrayals. I think it's a nice way to try and, like, 
sneak through. They, have, they definitely have shouldered also, but I think that we're going to shave one of these anyway because like they're not really a shoulder deck. They're more of a big stuff deck. Um, don't want a Braid, Koth, Barrage, Slam Bust Bolt. Don't want any of those. I'm just going to shave a play with fire, I think. Do we have to shoot Lightning Strike? Strike doesn't really kill anything. Like, everything has two toughness or not. And I want the cheaper card, I think. Yeah, let's just do this. So, not a lot of sideboarding, but... What spreadsheets? Oh, tracking all of the tracking all of the matches we play, and then we do like we do like matrixes for like you know matchup you know spreads and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's very yeah, it's impressive. There we go. Playable and keep. Damn, Yogi, you're great. Yeah, Kibler's playing this Pro Tour too, which is awesome. All right, let's play this spear. A little better hand, obviously. The old triple one drop. Yeah, Jakob's great. Jakob's really really great. We had, me, me, Siggy, and Ely had to, like, fight to get him on this, the Team CFB for the Pro Tour. We were like, listen, because yeah, obviously we, so for those who don't know, um, you know, I tested with Jakob, uh, Mike Sigaris, and Ely Cassis, uh for Worlds, where Ely came in second, Jakob came in third, I came in fifth, and Jakob beat me playing for top four. <laughs> so, like, we did pretty good, uh, you know, out of the four of us in a 32-player field. And then uh, when it was time to test for the next Pro Tour... You know, Ely and myself and uh, Siggy were all on Team CFB, but Jakob was not on Team CFB. And we were, you know, they were looking to add new people and stuff like that. And we're like, we got to add Jakob. And everyone's like, who's Jakob? And we got to add Jakob. We got to add Jakob. And everyone's a little like, all right, they're all really pushing for him. We'll put him on the team. And now everyone's like, Jakob's the nut. All these spreadsheets are insane. So Jakob's great. Uh, invasion of Tarkir. And now I get in an interesting spot of like, what do we want to attack exactly? Play this. I'm gonna invasion and kill the harvester. The question is, do I attack the invasion or do I attack do I attack them? I think I attack this, right? Strike the dragon gun. Doesn't have, doesn't have haste or anything, but we can like strike it at some point to. Yeah. Draw a lambican crucible also, which is kind of cool. All right, so we're just going to Crucible and, and kill the Invasion, I think. Uh, if they go discard a Atraxa, they still can't put it in play for two turns. The problem is they can have like a Gopher Throat here. If they just kill a Dragon that I get, it really freaking sucks. Um, so it's kind of interesting. There's like some impetus to want to almost like Lightning Strike this on their end step. So I can untap with it. Yeah, this feels like a Gopher Throat. So I think we're... I think we're we're not going to try and flip this right now. We just want to attack them. But at the same time, I also want to get it going. So the options are to like play this and Crucible attack for four. But then I can't attack with this. Or just, just strike it in step. I'm just going to strike it in step. You're not dragons. They're little, little baby phoenixes. Alright, so there you go. Alright, so discard Jetmer's Garden. I want to be. Here's a land. Here's Harvester. Man, if they still have Go for the Throat, we're still up here. Yeah, this is gonna suck. I just like definitely have a Go for the Throat here, but I think we're committed to our, to our play at this point. All right. The battle's done, and we kind of won. This Thundermaw. Yeah, it's definitely killing it. Wow, no, really? All right. Um, fire up Foundry. Try. I mean, be pretty surprised if this uh, if this works, but all right, let's fire us up. Try to attack. Attack step? Alright. I mean... Alright, this is all working. Um, they can still have a Traxa next turn. But they've taken another 7. They play Kamano. Another 6. 
And like, of course, if a Trax is here, we, we have to find an answer to it or find some way to like kill our own creature or something like that too. But all right, so there you go. Discard a Trax to return it. No discard a Trax it either. Whoa! Wow. What's my contribution of testing house? I mean, I'm a good worker, I guess. I don't know, honestly. I'm. I feel like I'm, you know, a little outclassed, uh, but. I tried my best. I mean, I brought lasagna from Nicole last time. That was pretty cool. Um, all right, so game three, same thing. Um, they definitely bricked a bit. The thing is, like, the these reanimator or Traxa decks are extremely powerful, but also have a decent fail rate, too. Where that game, they just kind of, like, just didn't do anything and died. And if they had the good stuff, we were dead, but uh, they just didn't do much, so... Nicole's lasagna is freaking good. Like, we, we Nicole made two full trays. We ate it like three or four times. An established pro is the benefit, ups the credibility of a team. I am definitely the one of the bottom tier players in the team. <laughs> not 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 dogging myself at all, but it's literally a team of, of Hall of Famers, world champions, you know, like. Oh, this hand's gross. Uh only two lands. These storm seekers aren't that good. One Phoenix. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mulligan here, I think. I don't think Stan's good enough. Not enough lands to make Devastators relevant. Revel, relevant. Um, if you're the smartest person in the room, find a new room. I mean, yeah, that's good advice for life, honestly. That is true. If I were to poison the lasagna, I'd have a much better chance of winning the tournament. For sure. I'm gonna mulligan. Oh, that's much better. Keep this ship of betrayal. I love this. Now you have one drop, Felden, Suspear, and then a betrayal for Andraxa. Duress? Who duresses? Stone Brain is only good if your deck can if your deck like can literally only loses to Atraxa, you know? Like if your deck is uh you know, beating literally every aspect of these decks except for Atraxa, you can consider Stone Brain. Some of the mono white decks do that, but. Alright. Um, I mean, we're in. And it's not great now they've seen the Betrayal too, which kind of sucks, but. Alright. Here it's 16. They do have a double pain land draw, which is nice. Uh, all right, I mean, a little floody here. Feeling the, uh, the mulligan for sure. And I breed, cut down, sure. That's fine. You're most well known in the mission. I can ask five players if they know Reed Duger, Jim Davis, and I guarantee a jar will know me. No, definitely not. Reed's far more well-known than I am. Reed's one of the most well-known Magic players in, in, in like the history of the game. Like That's why it was so good for him to win the Pro Tour. It was like so good for them for the first Pro Tour. Damn it! The only way we get punished for attacking with our land there is if they, they kill it and we draw exactly a 4-drop. Unbelievable. Alright, you're up. Alright. Uh, we are in some trouble here. There are still at 13... Yeah, Reed's the nut. Reed's just like the best. Those that don't know, Reed, Reed, I gave Reed my mountains for the Pro Tour because he was playing draft lands and he won the Pro Tour with him and then signed him for me. Isn't that cool? Got my two Reed Duke signed mountains. I'm, I think I'm going to do a giveaway with them. I think for Q for Charity this year, I'm going to give one of them away and keep the other one for myself. At Sushi! Double dress against Mono Red. Yeah, I mean... It worked, you know, I guess, like. Land, go. All right, I mean, we're kind of doing it. I mean, their hand could just be a Traxa, a Traxa here, you know? Like, that's the thing, it's like the fail rate is real. I guess they would, they would have blooded if they had a Traxa in their hand. Could be Cruelty of Geeks in their hand, maybe? I don't know. You're at seven. Push this thing in my face. Yeah, probably season it.
Reed beat you the last Pro Tour. He ain't the only one. No! Alright, so they're gonna... Gixxis Command. Destroy creature power two or less and sacrifice the biggest creature, so... He's go away. And we're gonna look at our top two cards and see what we can get here. Exile the top two. And we see a Swift Spear and an Invasion of Tark here. That's not bad. We draw a Stormseeker. Um, I'm gonna Invasion... We could play Storm Seeker and attack for a little more here, but this is a similar amount of damage, and just we just keep, we just keep the card around too, so. Invasion, go face. Attack for two. So now you're at three life, and I have a Haster and a Warcrafting. She old rid. The other she old rid. Let me draw a war. Oh, and here's Warcrafting. Um, I have eight cards in the bin. Alright, I guess we're just killing this. Could kill the battle, but it doesn't really do anything for us, so. Lightning strike off the top, please. I only got two of those. Yeah, there are more burn heavy. Uh, red list that play like there's like a, a burn battle. Man, we are really freaking Warcrafting it up here. Three cards in hand. I feel like our Stormseeker is definitely not going to hit here. Um, we could Warcraft the Invasion. Just make it 5-5 five, five and say go. Or 4-4, four, uh, four, four, I mean. Because the thing is, this doesn't have to cut down. This does. I'm going to do that. Just kill this. And then maybe like they tap out to kill or whatever. And then we can sneak in the Stormseeker. We're very close, yeah. Very, very close to victory. Just need to try and close the door. Are the twins in town? I don't know, honestly. That's a good thing to check. I, lo I love going to sports games when I'm traveling. All right. The battle is over. We have won. Here's the dragon. Is it dead? We'll see. Goodbye, Warcrafting. Uh oh. And three duress is pretty wild. That's a lot of duress to bring against a mono red deck. Like, we have a decent amount of spells in our deck. We have a lot of creatures too, though. We also empty our hand pretty quick. Wow! Look at that. Woo! I thought that would be a hard one. Mono red, doing it. Deck list is on the overlay as always. Expansion point deck or just right on the screen. We can keep this. Let's draw a lamb. We got some one, two drops. We're good to go. This is mono red. Five for one. We got a plains. And a forest. And a many journeys. What is this? Where are we going? What kind of journey are we going on? Basic forest. Sure. We'll be out before they get there. Aren't they up? I think the stars are a better team, but... Missalandra. Oh, man. You can't play many journeys on turn two, play an extra land, and then not play a fourth land on turn three. You just, like, can't do that. That's just not okay. Wild takes like, 140. That's it? That's how much our regular season Ranger ticket costs. Here's a 3-3. Three, three. Community Spirits. This is, like, the green-white... It's, like, a green-white ramp deck. Yeah, I, I gotta take uh, take Martin Yuza and Jakob and them to a uh, to a playoff hockey game. I took them to see the Flyers and the Oilers uh, before Pro Tour Philadelphia, but like the stadium was pretty quiet. The Flyers were one of the worst teams in the league, so it was a pretty like tame game. And they're like, "Where's all the excitement and the action?" And I'm like, "You go to a playoff game, it gets really nuts, you know." Um, so they have a three three. That's why I like this card. This card's pretty good. Uh, Fifteen life and five spells in their hand. Oh, we played a land. Fortunately, Stormseeker doesn't line up very. We could like Stormseeker and hit the. Yes, yeah, do that. Let's go Seeker. All right, so just attack with these. Happily trade here. Get a card. Exile top three, and we reveal a. We got land invasion land. I think about the land. I don't think invasion is very good here. Next year we can drag in, we can Stormseeker, Sister Spear, do lots of stuff. 
Boss fight. Get ready to ossify. Um, I think we just jam. They could have like a, a sunfall or something like that. It's gonna get this anyway though. I just freaking jam. Just do it. Send in the clowns. Send in the clowns. Attack for six. Hope you die. Invasion hey, Zendikar, you're dead. Dead. You're dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, I played basketball last night for the first time in like a few weeks, and I'm really sore. Played like total dog shit all night, but then I scored five of the seven points in the last game, and we won. Dad ball for days. All right, so they're, um, they're like a ramp deck, probably playing a track, so also, um, do I want these bloody betrayals? They also probably play a lot of rats, I would guess. Koth is good against the Wraths. Uh, not that hard to remove, though. Warcrafting is not necessary here. Uh, no shield roots. Maybe like two Bloody Betrayals, two Koths. Seems fine. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. Everybody stretch. Oh, everybody stretch. Oh, yeah. Burn it, but burn it, but burn it, pick it up. Kamano, Kamano Invasion. One thing I don't like about this list is it does not make very good use of Chapter 2 of Kamano. Uh, there's two two drops that are creatures in the entire deck. Which is a little eh, but can't always try to keep. Point testing house is best for the overall team vibe. Overall team vibe. Just good vibes all around. Um, hmm. Phoenix Check's a great draw. Best vibes. Logan's got good vibes. Logan Nettles, Jabberwocky. Just good chill, relax. Me and him, me and him were, were, shoot, were shooting out of basketball a little bit uh, in Philly. It was a court right across the street. That was fun. Um, Reed's super chill, obviously. LSV came uh, to the testing house last time, but he came like the last day. He wasn't there very long. Obviously, obviously everyone's super busy. Yeah, Ely's great too. I mean, everyone, everyone's great, honestly. Oh, Stinky's great too. Everyone's freaking great, honestly. I'm very, very, very fortunate to be uh, amongst such esteemed magic players and great, great people. The Stomp Stomp. Old Stompy Boy. Stampy, they call him. They call him Stampy. Stamp, 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 stamp. Wow. All right, we draw another. Man, we're just invading Tarkir big time. All right, well, um, I can't flip a freaking Tarkir. It's only four. If I if I could, I think I would Tarkir them and attack it for five, but it's only, it's, it's, or it's, I only have four. All right, this is, uh, just okay. I mean, I'm not super impressed with this card, honestly. Attacking it is definitely, like, five. I think if, it, if this was four, this card would be amazing. But it's, it's very interesting on the battles. I think that, like, every number up on a battle is so much. Like, three is awesome. Like, if Mage is in a car and three is so easy to kill. Four is, like, the middle ground of, like, this is pretty good. And then five just feels like a, a, a jump up so high. And then, you know, like, so. And now, like, they're at ten. I'm just going to try and kill. Oh, there's, there's dead, actually. Yeah, there's, there's dead on board. So, just, you know, we just, we just killed them. And this is one of the uh, the rock, the rock paper scissors, scissors parts of the format where I feel like mono red is very good against these kind of rampy, you know, whatever domain decks, uh, but struggles against the the esper decks, the shoulder decks, stuff like that. So that's fair. Yeah, the the red questing bees would have been really really good against the the saga was on four. So this is mono red. This is mono red. What popular band is my guilty pleasure? Um, I've been digging Childish Gambino lately. lately. I don't know how like, popular. He's pretty popular, right? Not, not really a band, I guess. Um, what popular band is my guilty pleasure? Right, we're going to play... Hmm. We can go Sifty on one. We can go Prowess Attack on two. 
then we can go 3-3 three, three, Haste Dragon on 3 with, with Trigger. That's pretty good, actually. Get away on this. Hoobastank. Not really a big Hoobastank fan. The old Harvester. Just doing the thing. Ooh. Storm is actually pretty good if it's, if it's big. Number one. Set attack in. Will they block? Are you a blocker or are you brave? What kind of player are you? The hive cluster is under attack. Trading. Got it. Go. So next turns are probably a four five storm seeker. Rather than a dragon, because the dragon just scales up. Stop drawing lands! A seeker you can't. I think it's important against these decks to really try and tax their uh their their go for the throats. You can try and blank their cutdowns and make them use go for the throat on like a mid-level creature, and then you can play your big creature. It's like a really important game pattern and standard right now. All right, yeah, you got your treasure. Do your thing. Didn't discard a tracks. That's cool for us. They're just like regular Rakdos. Harvester number two. Harvester number three. Invasion of Tarkir. Um, interesting. So, we can play a 3-3 three, three Shivan Devastator. Or we can... And they would probably just double block. I don't know what they do, actually. If I go 3-3 three, three attack with everything, they probably double block this... No, I probably just like... I don't know what they do, actually. Invasion does 3 right now. But is that even good? I don't really think so. This is going to flip. Things are about to get really bad for us. I'm going to go just play this. Just, gonna, just send. We're getting... It's getting pretty nasty here as far as this thing flipping and things going bad, so... Alright, so... And then we're going to pump uh, this so we can trade with both of it. It's do both. Let's hear it, folks. Chat, are you there? Are you with me? No? Just kidding. You're always with me. You're always with me. Let's go. Here we go. What's this? Make a black? Oh, cut down. Gross. Do 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 Gambino can rap, like, well, but he also has, like, the, like, kind of, like, the, the Motown Michael Jackson thing going on, too, so, all right, so, they're at seven, um, we kind of, like, have to kill this, so Spear, Prowess, kill this, attack, they block with the Harvester, they don't actually have anything left, like, we're at 16, we have, we have time, Uh, yeah, going face is not okay. All right, sure, play this. Yeah, I'm pretty unimpressed of this card, honestly. I think uh, I really missed on this card. I thought this card was like insane. It's it's just been like. Hmm. There are four devastators in the deck, so it's a nice one to play too. All right, so if you kill the harvester, so now they can't assemble a fable plus harvester. So, Mr. Foundry's garbage. I mean, like, it's it hasn't hurt us in a single game. You know, like, it's fine. You know, it's not amazing, but... Toby... What? No, no I never, never heard of him. Put a song on the Discord. They draw Bankbuster empty-handed. God, what a sicko. I guess they, I guess they, they uh, discarded a land, but... Hurt me in the first three turns of the last match? When? Alright, they have infinite game pieces, but not that much. They're going to actually attack a bolt and leave me with a foundry. <laughs> oh, glad I have his foundry, I guess. Uh, Alright. Attack you. Fatal push? Or not, I mean, whatever. Cut down?
Alright, well, I think this game has slipped away here. Um, I thought we were there, but seven lands. Too, too many. Oh, no, that's so good. Um, we, we made it night for them. That sucks. I feel like... Nah, like some, some right next to my Fable, too. Alright. Now nah, we're dead. Yeah, alright. Little, little complaint equity there for uh, drawing a land on the last step. That's turn. It's fine. So, opponent's Rakdosen. We're gonna want... What? What do you want? Definitely need all four of these. Uh, at Sushi seems really good here also. What well, seems bad? Like, what am I even boarding? What do I even want to board in? You know, like... Do I want a braid? I don't think killing bank is that important. Flame Bless Bolt doesn't seem very good. Wouldn't mind Koth, honestly. Um, on the play, at least. I guess it's bad against Evoke Despair, though. Let me just run it back. Yeah, like, they're, they're, they're for sure playing, like, four Invoke Despair, so... Planeswalkers are pretty bad there. Scott Dude Network is a phenomenal cover of Red, of Red Bud. Just killer. Discord gets Jim to listen to Toby send in the song Paul Wolf. Alright, well, Yogi Yogi Brown in chat, Joe, Joe or Sigliano in chat, is my like one of my hip hop maestros. You know, like I was never never really into hip hop that much growing kind of growing up. It's more like, you know, punk hardcore kind of stuff. But Yogi was one of the first ones to give me hip hop stuff. And Yogi was actually the Joe Joe Sigliano in chat was the rapper in my in my hip hop band. Um Yeah. Yogi Brown of the Say What's. That's why I always call him Yogi. So, props to Yogi Brown. Yogi Brown. We were going to do, uh, we, we, we had a lot of fun ideas with that band. We're going to mulligan. Um, so, we were a band, obviously. But we wanted to do Yogi Brown battle bars where, like, we would walk into, like, a deli. And Yogi would just, like, walk into the counter and just, like, spit two lines of, like, rap battle. Like, you know, then just walk out. We would, like, we would have videos for YouTube and stuff. I think we were a little ahead of our time. It would have been a really good idea. But, all right. So, Spirit Chick, Warcraft, I think this is fine. Keep six, ship the invasion probably. I'm very sad, Yogi. We, we never never did the Yogi Brown, Yogi Brown battle bars. Pretty sad. That was a great idea. Muster plug, not super familiar. Ah oh, crap, they've one drop too. Why is everyone just duress the, the crap out of me? I guess the plan maybe is just like duress your answer to shoulder, play shouldered. All right, we'll send it. Yogi Brown Battle Bars. Cut down, sure. Alright, we got two Phoenix Chicks and a, and a Dream here. <laughs> here you go! Yogi Brown Battle Bars. I can't do as well as Yogi, but... Come at you from all angles, like a talent porno. You got the Dementor of a cheese pizza with no delivery. DiGiorno. <laughs> Friggin' love Yogi. Alright, um... Yeah, uh, but tax step. Here we go. Coming in, making it knife. Gonna make it the knife for them, maybe for the thingy. But all right, so we have a land. Uh, we just hold this, right? Yeah, I think so. A new channel reward. I was at my bar. That was Yogi's bar, right? It was not mine. I can't. I can't rap. Raps for Jim from Yogi. Yep. You want it? Who wants to hear a Yogi Brown say what song? Who wants to hear our, our my, my hip hop band? I'll, I'll I'll play it between the between the break if you want to hear it. Hands in chat. Raise your hand in chat if you want to hear my old hip hop band with Yogi, Yogi spitting bars. We were like, oh no, oh god. But what are they post combat lifelink? Nah, we're freaking dead. They missed, they wasted a lifelink, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna play Lance. There you go. The Dear Prudence song. Yeah, we we were a band that was like 70% of the way there. A lot of good ideas, but like, we really needed a, needed a fourth instrument. It was just me playing bass. It was uh, my, my buddy Brian, who's a singer of Teach Me Human. He was playing drums and singing the hooks, and Yogi was rapping. But like, 
we just didn't have we need, we needed like a treble instrument we needed a little more we just needed a little more of, of kind of everything yeah we were a lot a lot of the way there but not quite all right um we're pretty dead now um but them at eight and having a trespasser in play yeah oh they need the treasure cast it right sure yeah they were just dead yeah I mean that's fair. A lot of good black cards that are hard for the red, red deck to beat. Come on, opponent. We'll just freaking go here. Just block the goddamn Felden. Like, what are we doing? Come on. I don't know how you ever not block there, right? Top three cards, something good. We get... Land, land, lightning strike. The problem is that this uh, this trespasser is gonna fit. I mean, let's see. You go face, Kamano, face. They go to back to five when they attack. I think they go to six also. We're just yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, they just got around us too hard. Um, copy that. Yeah, we're just, that's more life. All right, we're just dead. Uh, yeah. Mono red, it's it's weird because I feel like the mono red deck is like not inherently bad. It's just not very good in the format. There's just so many things in the format that are just like so good against it uh, that it just like doesn't line up well in a lot of different spots. And I would say let's look over untapped here. I would say that the uh, the dragony package didn't really impress me that much. I think that pretty good. I think the idea of of going bigger with the mono red deck is reasonable because uh, the big cards are rather powerful. But Invasion of Tarkir, just kind of a kind of a stinker. Not a big Devastator fan. Um, I don't know. No, I don't think it's the way to do it. Both in Mono Red in the format and in this version of Mono Red in general. We went, we went 2 1. You know, I mean, it wasn't like the, the worst set of all time or whatever, but that's the deck. So, more decks to play on stream. YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you fine folks in another video. Peace. And if you want to hear Yogi Brown say what's, you got to go look him up. Yogi Brown and the Say What's.